Good morning, shining ones. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. Today, we're going to be in Zarathustra's own writings. Real quick, if you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. We're going to be in Zarathustra's Song 1. And then also, grab your book, Asha. You're going to see how beautiful Asha 3 goes with Song 1. Real quick, I, I want you to think of... Uh, be thinking of energy, of spirit, uh, of mind. You know, everything is mind. Uh, you, you know, form and matter, right? It's just energy. Things that seem solid like your hand, it's just energy vibrating in a form. And, and I want you to think about energy and, and what energy. You, you know, the, there's good energy, and, and there's bad energy, right? There's love and there's hate and, and you can feel it. It's tangible, isn't it? There's good spirit and there's evil spirit. And, and I, I want you to visualize, please do this for me, because where we're going over the next few years, uh, th this is going to help you just make a, a mental image. And, and I want you to picture blue as good energy, my friends. And, and so if, if you are blue, right, you, you're good energy, uh, you're going to create good in your world because the, the, the energy, the spirit, the, the, the God that we hold is the world that we're going to create, the world we're going to see. That because of resonance, we're going to be in tuned for, for, for that Asha, for that perfect creator's perfect idea, for the good. My friends, now I want you to visualize, and there's nothing wrong with the color red, but we're going to visualize the color red as evil, right? And so if you see yourself as angry and greedy and violent, and you hold the energy, the God, the spirit, the mind of a God that gets angry, jealous, hate war, go in and kill the men, women, and children, stone your children when they're disrespectful. To me, that's very red, Right. And what Zoroaster was trying to teach us is that the world religions, they, they want to give you a, a, an idea of the highest principle of God. Good is kind of a mixed blue and red. It always keeps you confused, always keeps you guessing. Right. Right. There's, there's just no solid answers that we're looking for when your God uh, has red attributes. We're looking for pure blue. Zoroaster means pure light, pure starlight. That's why the Magi follow that, that pure light. My friends, that we call Vohu, Vohu Menu, the, the God mind, the Christ mind here in the West. Now listen to this, song one. Mazda, wise God, with a bow and uplifted arms, I pray first I ask for support through progressive mentality. All is mind. We need support from the God mind, right? Not the mixed mind, not the monster mind. We, we need support from that holy, pure God mind. Vohu menu, the Christ mind. Then I pray that I may perform all my actions based as they are on the wisdom of good mind. Vohu menu again precisely according to the laws of Asha, so that I may please you in the soul of the living world. My friends, Asha is the perfect creator's perfect thought from his perfect mind. That's what we want to attune ourselves to. That's what we want to speak out of, think out of, act out of, live out of Asha, heaven on earth. Verse 2, wise God, and I love this. I approach you through Vohumenu. So God in our religion is the same thing as good. So we want our good. We want bliss and love and joy and peace and just goodness, right? We, we approach that by attuning ourselves through Vohumenu, through the God mind, holding the God mind where, where you and the God mind are one. You and Vohu you are one. And it's about resonance. Now you approach God, you're actually sucked up into those higher dimensions because it's resonance. You're in tune for it, my friends. And you're not uh, tuned to the, the low frequency. So you won't go to the low places uh, of the fear and the hate and those low frequencies. So wise God, I approach you through the God mind, good mind, Vohu you. Grant me through Asha 
the blessings of both existences, the material and the mental. And I love this. This is the heart of a leader. So that I may lead my companions to happiness. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, grab your book, Asha. Go to Asha 3. It says, I have Vohu Menu. I have the God mind. I have the Christ mind. My only job, one job, is to align with, right? That's what we're talking about. That's what Zoroaster is telling us. Align with and hold continuously in mind the attributes of God good, love, right? So we, we hold that, that blue energy. I want you to see it. Is you're holding love, that blue, the red that anger, that fear, that greed, that violence, it, it can't be in this, th this atmosphere, this frequency. So I hold love. And now I want you to feel pure love. It's a real tangible thing. And, and, and visualize that blue. See yourself turning blue. See that blue energy. Hold life. My friends, we know there is life because we are life. And in this life, it's eternal. There is no death. Friends, see that blue life. It's eternal that goes on forever. Maybe we won't be in this form, in this body, but this life, this love, it goes on forever. Peace. Hold peace right now take a long deep breath and release and just feel peace there's power in this let all of the muscles in your body relax in your neck your shoulders anywhere you might be holding tension and breathe in see breathing in blue light and that light is peace and maybe visualize as you breathe out, breathing out the red. See the red, the low frequencies, the stress leaving you and breathing in blue. So see that blue energy filling you. And in this blue light, there's no evil. There's no fear. It's a safe place. And hold joy. Feel joy. Let a smile come across your face right now. Maybe you haven't felt that for a long time. Maybe it feels a little awkward. Smile. Feel your heart. Smile. Feel joy. And in this blue light, there's power. Feel the power. Feel the freedom. It says we be these things we just mentioned. We be love. We be power. We be life. We be peace. We be joy. It's, it's what we are. Now, I want you to really get this. This is beautiful. My mind is God. What do we talk about? All is mind. And my mind is is God. That Vohu Menu, that Christ mind, that God mind, it's who I am. You know, a lot of times we get tied up in our egos, like, yeah, I am a doctor, right? I am a stock trader. I am a mother. I am a, a father. Well, it, we get our identity in what we do. Right? I heard a great analogy. What, what if you woke up in a hospital bed and you had forgotten all that you had ever done? Who are you? Right? My mind is God. My energy, my life is God. God is my life. Says my thoughts are not always God. That's true, isn't it? And then here's our prayer. May my thoughts align with the God mind. May I think and speak 
and act out of Vohomenu, the God mind. Today, let's be that blue energy. I want you to have that visualization of seeing yourself as that blue life that the, that, that the red cannot enter. The low frequencies cannot enter. And see as you hold this, this life and this love and this peace and this joy and this energy, it creates a, a real life, the real life, the real above all real, the perfect creator's perfect idea that we call Asha. My friends, if you enjoyed that, go to the comments, let me know. Let me know what you got from that. Did you get something new? And no, I love, love, love you.